Realtree's Midwest Whitetail is brought to you by Cuddyback, Drake Non-Typical, Easton Arrows, Frigid Forage, Fuse, Grizzly Coolers, Hoyt, Ozonics, Redneck Blinds, Wasp Archery, and Realtree. Welcome to Midwest Whitetail, the Great Lakes Show. It is day one down in Iowa. I drew an Iowa tag this year, and I'm just now starting out the rut hunt. I'll be down here for about 10 days. November the 5th morning hunt uh, is coming to a close here. I'm going to get down, head over to the alfalfa field for this evening's hunt, and hopefully we'll have some luck there. It is day three, and I'm sitting in the stand we call Eagle Nest. I have a trail camera about 80 yards just to the south of me, and that camera has been picking up tons of deer uh, bucks coming through it's over a scrape and we've been getting a lot of activity including a nice daytime activity picture yesterday so this is the first time in always seems to be the best we're set up here on uh, this little bit of a side ridge the wind is blowing over my shoulder back that way down into the ravine so anything coming on these two ravines here on these two side ridges shouldn't smell me so we're hoping we get some of that buck activity in here today we'll see what's what happens later on this morning It's about quarter to nine and I saw some movement up on the ridge and sure enough a, a buck came working its way in and I believe it's a buck we have a trail cam picture of yesterday um, he came in about 10 yards stood right below me here munching on some grass and then walked up the side a little bit and I moved the camera and I think he got a little spook but he only took like two bounds and stopped and then he just walked off so uh, mature deer I was tempted but I'm hoping for something a little bit older and uh, so we'll see how the rest of the day goes November the 10th and we're hunting a different stand on the property we call Titanic it's public land and we're hunting in a little pinch point between the end of the cove and a uh, ag field behind us. There's a bunch of runs that come through here and any deer that want to stay in the woods uh, we will have to see um, sometime this morning. Uh, we just had a flock of turkeys go through so far that's the only thing we've seen. Um, hopefully this one will pan off a little bit later.
might be able to grunt to get him in a little closer. He might be a little farther than 30, Dad. Well, this about wraps up my Iowa rut hunt. Eric's going to be leaving in the morning. So I'm going to head off to Kansas for a few days. Um, go down to uh, see what my brother's up to down there. And then I'm going to swing back here um, the first part of uh, the week, next week, around the 20th or so, and uh, try to get one of those big mature bucks on their feet looking for one of those last doughs to be bred. So we had a good week, um, seen a, a lot of deer, just didn't get any within shooting range that were mature. So we're gonna head to Kansas. Well, it's December 1st, uh, the last day of the 2019 Wisconsin gun season. And uh, it's a snowy one. We got a north wind about 12 miles an hour. And Austin and I, are in the foundation field tonight. A couple nights ago, um, we got in here about two o'clock and um, there was already a bunch of deer out in the field and we bumped a couple of does and then we found out that um, after they spooked the deer that we wanted, that we're kind of going after, uh, was in the tree line trying to come out in the field. But, uh, so he never came out the other night, but. Uh, we're back in here again trying to get them. It's about 32 degrees and um, we just had a buck and two does uh, out in the field here. It's about 130 and uh, it's a really nice three-year-old that I passed up earlier in the year um, when Shelf Effer shot his uh, buck that we called Barbs. Uh, it's a nice buck. I think I'm going to call him R2 just based off of uh, he looks a lot sim very similar to a deer that I was after a couple of years ago that I called Royals. So R2 uh, was just out here, but we're going to sit back and uh, enjoy the night. It should be a good night with the snow coming down like this. It's going to snow all afternoon, so I'll show you whatever comes out. Well, it's 3 o'clock, and uh, we got about, uh, I don't know, 10 does out in the field. There's another one coming in right now. Uh, and R2's back out here, along with a spike buck. And um, it's been pretty entertaining. I actually thought that it was the deer that we were after coming out at first, because he looped around and come from a whole opposite direction from where uh, he went in when he left earlier, but uh, it's been fun. They're out here early, moving early, so that's good. Hopefully the right deer shows up. 